So, Stephen, you know, anyone who has ever busted tables, worked in the kitchen, washed dishes, this story is bound to make you hot under the collar. Michael. On a busy night like tonight, Cruz and Muir has about 40 employees working for a living. Eight ounce, medium, chicken and shrimp. Last weekend, while they were serving customers, this man was helping himself to their cash and valuables. We just walked in, went right to the employee area, uh, took the items and left. It was only there a couple minutes. Surveillance video captures the thief taking handbags and an apron which he uses to wrap around the bags to conceal them on his way out. The security cameras that captured the thief are new. General Manager Steve Nichols says they were installed as a precaution. I've been here 12 years and haven't had to deal with anything like that, so it was a surprise. The thief got away with $400 in cash, tips an employee had earned the night before. She works two jobs and goes to school. That money uh, goes a long ways for her, so uh, and she's out that, so... It's, uh, it's a very unfortunate. Nichols says the thief had to have known how to find the break room, but he is not a former employee. The restaurant was packed at the time of the crime, and the staff would have been too busy to notice him. His was a crime of opportunity. He knew where to strike and when. You're not just taking money or affecting people's lives. These are young people that work hard for it, and uh, you know now they're out that, and uh, it just uh, puts them in a hardship that they don't deserve. Now, the restaurant says that during their training, employees are advised to leave their valuables at home or in another spot like a car safely secured, not to bring them into the restaurant to prevent incidents like this from occurring. If you recognize that gentleman, if you'd like another look at him as well, go to our website, WXYZ.com. We'd like to see this guy put away. Live in Rochester tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. Amen to that, Curtis. Thank you for the live report.